What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your graphics on your PlayStation 5 console. So the PlayStation 5 has significantly better graphical capabilities than the PlayStation 4 and even the PlayStation 4 Pro, and most likely if you own a PlayStation 5, you're going to want to take full advantage of those increased graphical capabilities. So in this video I'll show you how to change a few settings on your PS5 to unlock the full potential of your console. So starting from the PlayStation 5 home menu here, go up to Settings. Then you go all the way down here to save data and game slash app settings. In here, go down to game presets, the third option. The second option here in game presets is going to be performance mode or resolution mode. So this option here broadly defines what graphical settings are going to be enabled on our PlayStation 5. So if we select this option, you'll see we have three different modes, game default, performance mode, and resolution mode. So game default is going to balance the settings and it's going to pretty much go with whatever the game wants the console to go with. Uh, performance mode is going to put an emphasis on frame rate and refresh rate so that you'll have more more smooth gameplay, more precise reaction times in your game. So if you're an FPS gamer or you just enjoy smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, this is the option for you. And then below that is resolution mode. So this puts more of an emphasis on the graphical quality of the game. So it'll increase the resolution, balance the colors a little bit more accurately, but the frame rate is going to dip more often. So if you're playing a more slow paced game or maybe you're watching a movie or TV on your PlayStation 5, you should go with this mode here. I usually go with the game default because if it is an FPS, Yes, it'll bump it up and it'll put more of an emphasis on frame rate by default if it's in game default but if you want to force it to always be in that high frame rate mode you can select performance and likewise if you want the high resolution all the time you can select resolution mode here as well so this more broadly defines what our graphical capabilities are going to be so let's get into more of the granular settings we can change to affect how our graphics look on our playstation 5 so let's back out of here and let's go up to the fifth to last option screen and video and the first option here is going to be video output Output. So here we have the majority of the settings we're going to want to change to affect our graphics. So first we have the general information about our video output. So what the resolution is, the refresh rate, color format, HDCP, and HDR if it is supported. I am unfortunately broke and do not have an HDR monitor, but I'll still show you the settings you can change to take advantage of an HDR display. HDCP has to do with recording. I have it off right now because I need to record the display, but normally it's going to be on. Color format is most likely always going to be RGB and then resolution is going to depend on what monitor or TV you're using. So let's back out of here. First up here is resolution, and for all these settings, most of these settings at least, I'm going to have it just set as automatic. The PlayStation 5 does a really good job of automatically adjusting display settings to take advantage of whatever TV or monitor you're using, or even the game you're playing. So I just usually set it as automatic, but if you'd like to have control over it, then you can set it to one of these options here. So 2160, that's 4K. If you have a 4K monitor or uh, TV, set that option here. The two 1080 options here are pretty much the same. Um, 1080i and 1080p are different standards of how the image is actually displayed. 1080p is generally better for more fast moving images and games. So once again, FPS would be a good example if you need a faster reaction time. 1080p can give you a slight advantage. There isn't too much of a difference, but it's generally better for faster moving images on smaller displays. On the other hand, 1080i is uh, better for slower moving images. So once again, movies, uh, slower moving games, that don't require fast reaction times, 1080i is better for that. It's also better on large displays, like a large flat screen TV. I think the general rule is 42 inches and above for 1080i, so select one of those options if you have a display that is 1080, and then if you are all the way down at 720, select that option here. I just have mine as automatic, and I'm going to leave it there for now. 4K transfer rate has to do with how the data is being processed from the PlayStation 5 to your monitor. Once again, I'd suggest leaving this as automatic unless you need to change it for whatever reason if your display is, like it says here, flickering or giving you artifacts or some sort of uh, display issue, then you might need to change it here. Uh, below that, we have HDR. So for me, I don't have an HDR monitor, so I can't turn this on. If you do have HDR, turn it on and it'll give you that high dynamic range. So basically, HDR gives you better color and contrast output, and it's generally more uh, color accurate and gives you brighter, more vivid colors on your display. So if you can, make sure to select this and turn it on. You can adjust your HDR settings here using these options. Uh, deep color output, once again, has to do with HDR, so turn that on if if you have HDR enabled. Down here, RGB range, um, once again, best to set it as automatic, but if you're seeing washed out colors or there's an issue with how the colors look on your display, then you can set it up here to full. Likewise, if it looks too bright and 
isn't too vivid, you can change it back down here to limited. Uh, below RGB range is going to be the refresh rate. So uh, once again, if you like smooth, buttery gameplay, then I would recommend setting it to 120 hertz and having it as automatic. But uh, if for some reason your graphics are suffering because of it, then you can always turn it off right here. Now, while we're in screen and video, I'll go over just some basic display settings you can change if you um, incorrectly put these in on the uh, PlayStation 5 setup. You can adjust the display area here. So if it's too small or too large, you can adjust it right here using this option. And then below that, we have dim to screen while inactive. So we can set the screen timeout. Default is 15 minutes. And uh, if you want to save power, you can set it back down to five minutes. The last settings you can change to affect your display and how it looks are in accessibility and here in display. So these have to do with how different assets look on the PlayStation 5. So the size of the text, what boldness the text is, contrast, stuff like that. Um, if you want high contrast, you can set that and uh, it will look uh, very high contrasty. I will tell you that. But um, these are mainly used if there is uh, someone with a disability using this console. So I just leave these as the default, but you can change that type of setting in here. Now, these are all the settings that you can change to affect how the display looks for you. But you can also change a few settings here in captures and broadcasts for if you are live streaming so that your viewers watching your streams will get a clear and crisp broadcast from your PlayStation 5. So in here in captures and broadcasts, go down to broadcasts and in here go to video quality. And for me, I'm always going to have this at the highest at 920 by 1080 at 60 frames. If you're having issues with that high frame rate, you can set it down to 30. And if there's an issue with the resolution of the display being that high, you can set it down here to 720. Um, other than that, that's about all we can do on the PlayStation 5 itself. Uh, obviously, each game you play will have its own graphical settings you can change. So feel free to do that. Once again, in the default, here it'll go with whatever the PlayStation 5 says but you can change a few more of the graphical settings in each game you play and then also on your actual monitor or TV itself you're going to have graphic settings too so don't just assume it's on the PlayStation 5 it could also be your TV or your monitor and those vary so widely I'm not even going to be able to show any of the options for that but take a gander through your display settings as well and see if that affects the graphical performance at all uh, other than that that's about all we can do currently on the newest version of the PlayStation 5 software there might be settings down the road that allows to change even more but for now this is what we have and this is what we can change so if you enjoyed today's tutorial leave a like down below leave a suggestion for a future tutorial you might have uh, anything from the playstation 5 to your pc any applications on there xbox series x nintendo switch um your iphone your android phone your freaking kindle tablet your fitbit watch really anything at this point um you can use with your human body i will make a tutorial on and uh it It'll be out on this channel. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.